Hi guys, Elite Gaming Entertainment here today and I'm here bringing you another very easy game guide to unlock 1000 gamer score in Fractured Minds. Now this one is included on the Game Pass, where as before you did have to purchase the game to be able to do so and it was very cheap back then, but now thankfully we do have it on Game Pass. Now what you're going to want to do obviously is download the game from the Game Pass, start the game up, now each level is around about 60 seconds long, it's not very long at all, so by the end of this video you should have the full 1000 gamer score. Now there are a few easy missable achievements which we will go through as and when the game does start. So here we are, the game is about to load up. The controls are pretty basic, so what you're going to want to do is wait till the game lets you sort of take control of your character and then we begin chapter one which is the mundane as you can see on the wall there that is your controls so if you do wish to know that by all means take a few seconds so to start the chapter you're going to want to walk over to this door you can't leave the room as the door is locked so the first achievement we're going for is to search for the first seven wrong keys as you can see I found two here there's one on the desk there's one on the chair right next to me and a couple in these drawers so once you have found the seven wrong keys, the room should change colour from a colourful colour to a bit more of a dark depressing colour such as this. And then that will be your first achievement. And then behind this painting here is the correct key. Collect that key, turn around and walk over to the door and then this will be chapter one completed. Also bagging you another achievement for a hundred gamer score. Okay, so chapter two is emptiness. So what you're going to want to do, first of all, is walk over to the table in front of you. When my character catches up with me. There we go. So open the purple present and get the donkey tail straight over to the pinata to find the pin. Because we're going to be playing pin the tail on the donkey. So open the red present and put the blindfold on. Walk over to the picture and you can roughly guess whereabouts it is. But it does tend to snap in the correct position when you when you do it so once you've done that blow out the candles and then open the blue present and then we are greeted with the key as you can see that painting fell off the wall it is just a bit of a painting with the, the enemy in the center and then that is the end of that chapter bagging another 100 gamer score now this is just a quick buffer between levels so there's nothing really in here so if you press the right bumper, you can actually run with your character. Press A to interact with the room. And that should bring us on to the next chapter, which is chapter three. So walk into the room, pick up the magnifying glass and point it at the snow globe. And then you'll be transported to the snow globe. So walk through this door and then you should find the key on the chair. So that's it for this level so you just turn back around and then straight through the door you kind of came through pressing A again and then that should bag you your next achievement now with this one there is a another achievement which I did get very very quickly luckily enough but I have heard it can take up to several minutes seven or eight minutes to get this depending but I will get to that as we go through now as you cross the road, watching out for the cars coming your way, because if they hit you, you will restart the level. So as you can see that board, you've got the logos on. You need to match up the logos to the people walking past. So when you find that correct logo, you point your camera angle at them and then press the A button. You do have to do them in order. So now I am on the second one. And there is quite a few of them walking through so you should be able to find them pretty much very pretty simply basically but when you do find all of the icons that we are looking for I have the two out of the four so we just need the arrows pointing in there's that one and then lastly it is kind of a waterfall which should be on one of these because I did see it not long ago there it is and then once that's done, that area would unlock. But before you do proceed, if you just wait in this area, somewhere safe, 
try not to get run over by the cars as I said the level will restart but you are pretty much safe in the position now I'm in current right now so you might get bored at this point because you do have to kind of wait around for the next achievement and the enemy to spawn into the game pardon me but you should see him appear within about 30 seconds he is twice as tall as the other people that you can see just walking around on the phones so when you do spot him it is pretty obvious when you do see him given how dull it is but walk over to him and then your next achievement will pop if you don't happen to get this and you do miss this section you can actually chapter select as it doesn't take long to get anyway so we should be walking through any second now it is in the direction that my camera angle is pointing luckily enough any second now we're just waiting as I say guys it can actually take up to seven or eight minutes for him to actually spawn so depending on how lucky you are for your game depending on the time that you take to play this game even though it only takes around about 15 minutes to complete and get your full gamer score so there he is as he looks totally different to every other one that's walking down the street twice as tall so walk over being careful of the cars and then as soon as you look at him your next achievement pops for a hundred gamer score and then again cross the road being very careful otherwise you will have to do the level once again as soon as you see one car press your right bumper to run across the road and then walk down this alleyway walk up to the clock in this room and your scene will automatically finish bagging you yet another 100 gamer score and then we can move on to the next chapter and there you are and there this one is is going to go kind of go underwater but it's just another area where you need to walk through just for effect so walk down the stairs to the door don't worry about the gaps and then we'll enter the next chapter and that's chapter five so what you're going to want to do here is grab the missable achievement again as you can see these red dots which are the security cameras you need to walk into those three times to bag your next achievement so that's the second time and then finally the third time and then your next achievement pops for another 100 gamer score and now we are going to complete this level so what you're going to need to do is be mindful of those cameras so wait for that camera to move over and in the second drawer of the TV stand you will find the first battery we need so that area is done turn around and watch out for this camera it is in the second cupboard underneath the sink and that's where we will find the second battery we're going to need so open the cupboard and as you can see right on the floor in the corner wait for the camera to bypass and then quickly grab it and once you have your second battery turn around and you will find the remote control on the table so we're gonna put the batteries into the remote control and then the TV should turn on again be careful of the camera once you have put the batteries in press the control so it changes the channel and then the screen should show the password that we're going to need to leave the level I will show you it in a second but the password is 0834 if you just wanted to skip this little section but however I am still going to show you just in case so as you can see the red ones is 0834 so what we're going to want to do is walk up to this pin pad insert the password 08 three four and press the arrow key to confirm it it will say alarm disabled and then you're just going to want to back up out of this and then open the door there as though we're going to leave the level and then a cutscene will take over and then it will lead us to the next chapter you will see the enemy there and we are going to be having a boss fight with him not too far away from here again that is not difficult at all so you don't have to really worry about that but there's your other 100 gamer score and this is chapter 5 so walk down the stairs once it starts straight into the room with the beating heart and then once you get in here you're going to want to turn 
180 degrees round and then you'll see the guy that we've just seen in the previous chapter in this room so as you can see you've got that one valve there you've got another valve over there and then two mirrored on the other side so once you've found your valves they are all in the exact same place so they won't be any different it will start so as you can see the enemy is well it's currently behind me I missed it when I first jumped into the room but you need to search for him and he should be right in the corner so what you're going to want to do is choose the valve the furthest away from him but on the same side and there he is again so we need to choose the valve furthest away on the same side there he is so we choose that one it's the furthest away on the correct side as he is and then lastly you should then press the valve for well the only valve that is left and once you've done that you then have destroyed the enemy and then you're going to want to turn around and then walk back into the room that we came in to start with and then it's going to get a cutscene plus another uh, achievement for completing chapter 6 for another 100 gamer score and then this is basically it this is the game that has finished you get another gamer score for completing the game and then you should now have all 10 achievements for 1000 gamer score this game wasn't that bad actually it was very quick and it was very well built I mean compared to all the other indie games that I've, I have played this was one of the better ones so that's pretty much it guys that is the full video you should now have your full 1000 game score